Okay, guys, yes, this is a weird angle, and yes, I'm in my room because this thing just came in, and I'm like, I need to make the video on this, and my kids are home. I don't know why. FedEx and um, UPS really love to deliver my stuff, like, late in the day. Oh, it looks so crooked. I don't know what's going on. Let me try to fix this angle real quick. Maybe it's this. No, that looks even worse. Uh, I'll just make it a little bit sideways like this. <laughs> okay, if I end up editing, I'll try to... Um, do what I need to do. So this is the Crafter's Companion Compendium with the Mini. Um, it was supposed to be delivered Saturday and all of a sudden it said, oh no, 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 let's do Monday. I was like, no, because <laughs> I don't know what happened. What's weird is that it has tape here too on top of that it has a regular tape, but I don't know. I'm just gonna cut it open um, and we will see. Oh, interesting. So this big box, I thought, oh, it just must be taking up this whole box, but it is not. <laughs> you see, and inside there is the Ultimate Card Making Compendium DVD that's just on its own here. The Gemini Mini, and like I said, I probably should have bought these things separately to be honest because what if I like this but I don't like the box? Or what if I like the box but I don't like this? And a gal in here had asked me if Anna Griffin had a mini machine and I'm like, no, I said, maybe you saw the cuddle book. She said, no, I saw it in like a thumbnail or like behind her in a, pic in a video or a picture. And I'm like, well, not that I know everything about everything that's coming out. So I was like, no, and she was going to send it to me on Twitter, so um, if you were going to do that, like I said, I didn't see it on Twitter, though she was going to tag me. But today, Anna Griffin released a video showing that, yes, she has a new Empress, and it's super cute. It is electronic, so it's probably not going to be that cheap. I'm assuming it's going to be like 100 120 bucks. That's normally how those machines go. But she does have a machine coming out, so you might want to buy that, or you might want to get the Gemini Go. You know, I don't know. Let me pull this out. I'm going to jump it because... I'm not able to. So this is the box. It's probably about the size of a few, let me, I'm in my room and that's kind of where I have my, uh, oh, what are those things called? These, the, these boxes. My subscription boxes, they're on my desk that I have up here. There's only one place I have room for them. So it's, it looks like it's about three of these guys. If that gives you an idea. I'm gonna try to focus a little bit closer because now that the box is open and it's a lot smaller and this is all crooked. Let me re do this camera so we're not all crooked <laughs> and I'll be right back. I'll probably unbox it and I'm probably going to use the handheld to show you guys everything because I don't like the way any of this is turning out. I know with a box like this, even the subscription box, the last subscription box, people, you guys have a couple thousand views on that. So sorry if I'm not doing this justice, but I was really excited to get into it. So here we are. But let me open this up. And I asked my daughter to not make noise, and I hear... Oh, wait, wait, that's not her. That's a siren. <laughs> I was like, and I hear her, but that's not her. So, looks really cool. Again, I always love that purple packaging. That's not going to be a problem. I wonder if I can... Yep, I can pick it right up. It has a lot of protection, so it's not, like, dented or anything like that. So that's nice. Now, they asked for $115 for just the box. And then I added on, obviously, the... Um, the mini, so I think it was 150, but I was able to use that $20 off coupon on HSN before the day was over um, that they had on the day before the Today Special hit, but then they posted the Today Special early, so I was able to do that. And I noticed they kept it open, the Today Special with the auto ship. I got it with the auto ship until the day afterwards. And they normally don't do that, but they left it open for a while, so I'm like, that was kind of interesting. Even today, I had checked on some of the items that uh, Craft's Companion brought that were auto ship, they still had the auto ship open. So that probably means they didn't sell out like the way they used to or normally do. So that was kind of interesting. So if there's something you're still interested in that you think you want auto ship, you might want to check it out. It might still be available. So here it is. Lovely. Nice packaging here. I'm going to turn it to the side and take this off. It is really pretty. Um, you know, which is what I expect from Crafts Companion. I'm going to take this lid off. So once we take the lid off, there's already some items in the top. I'm going to get a little bit closer. I'm sorry, guys. I should have kind of messed with this. I'm going to tilt it down just a little bit. And I think that'll help. Okay, as far as for the top layer. And it always has a cute little, like, card or something, which is nice. We got the ultimate. Now this, I have tons of books of these. I probably have them there actually on my bookshelf um, from close to my heart that are basically sketches or you guys remember back in the day, a lot of the magazines would put out, I think Creating Keepsakes has something like this where it's like a recipe. So it's basically you follow along. If you do dimensions, well, it's not even tell you the dimensions, which they normally do. It says four by six card base, but the ones I have are more specific where they'll tell you like this should be cut 
you know, three by five or whatever it might be, or three and a half by five and a half or something. But these are basically recipes, so you can kind of go through sketches, basically. And, um, and it's always going to look good, regardless of what you have that might look like a flower, or maybe it's just a circle, or maybe it's just whatever um, little item you want to put there. They're just giving you this so that it looks well proportioned and stuff like that, right? So that's what the book is. It has lots of different um, sketches, which I do love sketches. That's one thing I like because they, they do help. This is the color wheel and it looks like for the uh, auto ship they're going to send you a color wheel every time except for next time I think is more dyes and then the one after that is going to be more paper and color wheels and different like pastels or whatever but obviously they're still going to be the same kind of rainbow order. And this is what's going to help you know what colors kind of go well with each other if they're because they're across from each other if it's because they're in a triangle shape from each other right on the color wheel and then supposedly they're going to work out so you have a complementary split complementary colors you have triadic which is like the three colors what four colors would go together you just have to turn this um, and then it kind of helps you i guess this little area if you have paper that you're not sure you can just kind of help like it might be hard to differentiate between this orange let's say i don't know um so you put your paper there and you can kind of see what's up. Um, this also helps with like quilting and stuff like that so but you know it's a color wheel. Alright let's see what other fun things we have here. We have our large bottle of glitter. We have the same kind of ribbons they always include which I don't know if you guys saw a video I did recently I added a ribbon a bow to it. I think it was when I did the subscription box 15 and 16 card and basically with one strip of ribbon I was able to make one small bow so it's not a huge amount as far as the strand itself I don't know if you can see this one's just doubled over so it's just around this twice so if that gives you an idea of how much ribbon it is um so but there's a lot of types of ribbon so this one's like velour this is a beautiful kind of grow grain um, there's a little more of this one. It looks like there's double the amounts of each size. I don't know if you can see that in the different colors. So there's two of each, or one of each color in the different sizes. This one's just pink, yellow, and green. This one is, um, oh, did I say grosgrain? This is grosgrain, right? The one with the little, this is more like a satin ribbon. And this is a grosgrain also in the three different sizes of the six different colors that they're kind of coordinating in here. This is just like a sheer ribbon, and this one looks like it also has the three different sizes of six different colors so lots of ribbon oh one other one okay this is the rest of the velvet it's probably because it was thick so they couldn't couldn't put it all in the one package so this is more velvet ribbon um of the three different colors so you have six different colors of the velvet ribbon we have our little metal pieces this is really heavy so they're nice pieces they're not really tiny and we can see that i mean it's almost as long as my finger and then the beautiful um what is it called? Uh, butterflies. And it's kind of interesting because they have like a little spot where you would think there might be a um, diamond or a rhinestone. But if you have some there that size, you can pop them in there and then just decorate it a little bit more. Or maybe even fill it in with some kind of like enamel like paint type thing. I don't know. Um, and then there's smaller bits in here too. So they're not all huge, but there are some good sized pieces. We have our little half pearls. And then we have our half like gemstones they look like rhinestones kind of like the ones we use for nail art but they're a little bigger so you have those to play with they're all they all appear to be one size and then we have some stamps so pretty flower stamps i like the way you can pair this up with the flower um stem i guess i'm not sure what that is that one's kind of like a little fun design and then we have sentiments and these are acrylic, they're not polymers, um, what's that called? Photopolymer. So, you know, not the most expensive stamps, you might have to do a little fudging to work with them, but they look like they're lit, like, they're not like blackout stamps, so I think they'll be okay. A lot of times when you have a stamp that's acrylic, but it's just to make a line, an outline, they, they work well, because they don't have to hold on to a lot of ink. Um, we have rub-ons, and uh, with the rub-ons, I think she said they have some that are like this, you can see they're black, there's some that are white, and there's some that are metallic. So I'm not opening up the whole packaging, but that would take a really long time in the video. I'm sorry guys, but I will definitely make a card like tomorrow using this stuff. I just wanted to do the unboxing and get this done so you guys can see what it looks like at home. Um, these butterflies are very reminiscent of the butterflies that came out with their layering stamps or just other stamp sets. They're always doing butterflies, but these look very, very familiar. So hopefully maybe some of the dyes that we had from, oh, I don't know which box it is. I have one through 17 up there, but anyway, one of the boxes came with, um, butterflies look just like this but we had dye for it so maybe that'll work that would be good 
Otherwise, you have to fussy cut them. Okay, so that's what was there. Of course, it's not the same putting it back in. <laughs> Let me close this up. And then it was always when I was watching their videos to open this up. It's not fussy. It's just um, if you're opening like this, you kind of have to know this middle one is attached to this back piece. And then this bottom one is attached to the piece on the left. So if you're going to open it, if you just pull it, this isn't going to do anything. So you're going to have to coax it to do what it needs to do. So let's see. Let's go to the middle box. And let me pan out a little bit just so you can see what it looks like all open and pretty. Cute. Gorgeous. Okay, let me see. I'm going to try to close up a little bit. And let's see what's in this one. This would be fun. I mean, okay, so some people, and like I was surprised at what they were asking for for the box, 115 just the box. And um, I mean, it was a little bit high, right? <laughs> so let's see. I mean, I like what I'm seeing. It's fun. Is it worth that price? That's up to you. Um, you know, I, I can't comment on what people can or can't afford or or if it's worth, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how people see or view their money. So um, I think it was a little bit high though. I think this should have been like in the $89, $99 range is what I'm thinking, but that's just me. Um, without the mini, I'm just talking about the box itself. Um, so these are resin frames and I thought these were really wild. The color, I mean, these would be pretty if they were like gold or silver or just white, but there are some odd colors, but they did have videos, I think coloring them or putting your glitter on them so that it tones down the color because these are super vibrant but they're very cute and they are resin they're not bendable i don't know if you can see this they're hard so i was kind of, I was kind of wondering are they rubbery because they look like they're rubbery right but there we go we have a cut and emboss folder and i'm definitely going to use these to review the gemini mini for you guys okay so i'll do a review of the mini also in the same review while i do a make a card okay um so we have 3d embossing folders there are two in here they're very thick if you know Diamond Press, like the way they do their uh, little embossing folders and stuff, this is super thick, so obviously the opening is probably wider or, you know, on the mini here. And then we have uh, 2D embossing folders. So these are the regular embossing folders, which are super cute, the little butterflies, and this one has like flowers. These are 3D embossing folders with the butterfly spray and then like a beautiful kind of rose, if you can see that. And then the little cut and emboss folder, so it's going to emboss and then it cuts out that little aperture. So this is interesting. So I'm definitely going to use this too because I'm like, this looks like a toy. Like it's so small. I, I think if you throw it in your bag, well, that's one thing, I guess. But it's not very big. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. So this is your scoring board and they said this is a world launch. It's not available anywhere else but in this box, but it is very small. I mean, if your card is longer than seven inches, which, you know, probably isn't five by seven or our, our normal four and a half four and a quarter by five and a half cards your standard a2 it'll fit here just fine and it goes across to um let me see if i can see five and a half so this last mark here is five and a half and then it has a notcher and this notcher helps you notch out your envelopes so they look really nice when you fold it over instead of having like just sharp edges we'll, we'll sh i'll show you so i guess i'm gonna have to make a card <laughs> with this with the sketch uh, cut out some things on Gemini Mini and then make ourselves a, an envelope so we can use the whole thing, okay? Um, in the next video, which I promise will be tomorrow. Uh, on the back here you have your envelope maker and it tells you what sizes you need for what size card you need. And then it has a built-in um, uh, bone folder or scoring tool or whatever you want to call it because it looks like both. So there's that. There are some little words like with love that you can emboss and thinking of you. I'm not the hugest fan of, there's three of these, of these kind of things, so I don't really know what to do with them. They're so small and then you, I, I don't know, but they're there. <laughs> we do have envelope liners, uh, envelope template for a four by six card blank, and then it has the different sizes up to probably, we'll talk about that maybe when I make the video. I think it's up to five by seven, a card that would accommodate that. These are box templates, which are very interesting. So these are half pieces. So you have to do this, flip it over and then do the lines or, well, yeah, I wouldn't fold the paper, paper in half. So basically it's a half piece that you're gonna have to put on a piece of paper, draw in your lines, then score on those lines um, and then cut where you need to. So 
Um, I used to have lots of things like this with green sneakers. I don't know if you guys remember, I used to review things for them a long time ago. They were really nice, really nice people, but they always had their company and then they just started a Kickstarter after they've been making things on, you know, HSN QVC for like five, six years. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Really nice guy. I, I guess it was kind of tough going with the whole template thing, but you know how things are, but we're going back old school again. So we have a templates there. This is kind of nice. I, love, I always love dice just like this. I really like this one. It's nice and long. It looks, let's see how long that one is. Um, it is six inches long and probably three inches wide is what it looks like. Yeah, just shy of three inches wide. So it's a nice little maybe card, not card front because it's not going to take up a whole front, but you can use it as a uh, element to your card. Um, we have a quill flower or a rolling flower. Hello, love. A nice um, kind of lace design here. And then we have another, this is a quilled flower right here. I thought there were more of these, so we'll see, yeah. Okay, for whatever reason, there's paper, all the patterned papers, and you probably saw these when they posted it, but I will, since this is an unboxing, I guess for this one, I will show you the different papers. So again, this is going with the color theory that they're choosing. So that's why a lot of the colors are like this yellow, purple, and like teals and oranges. So everything in here is going to coordinate. And then you have your color wheel to help you out. This is pretty paper. I really like that. That one's pretty too. So yeah, they're putting some stuff together that I wouldn't imagine. Just because, you know, I think we get stuck in our ruts. So that's what's kind of nice about this one that... Um, it's a little different and I can appreciate that because like I said, I always end up getting stuck in a rut too. And I feel like even Crafters Companion does too. A lot of this stuff is pastel and I've already talked about that. Like it's so many pastels, like we're over pastel. Let's do something else. And then we have this one here, um, that has happy birthday. There are two separate words. So when you cut it out, you can, you can put it however you like, position it however you like. This is a really cool flower and I can't tell. Yeah, it's two different ones. So this is three, actually. There's this little center. There's this one that is separate from this outer one. So I guess you could layer them up if you want or just use them however. Um, branch it like little twig kind of thing and your leaves. A uh, little flower center. Um, this is really cute. It's like scalloped and even sewn, like sew stitching looking uh, outer circle here, the nesting dies. Then we have like oval. Well, they're all ovals, obviously. Some of these are plain. Some of them are stitched or dotted. And they go all the way into this little tiny one in the center, if you can see, is like as long as my nail. And then we have these little kind of create a card type little dies. And so there's a center and they each have an outer square. So the square, I mean, she could have just put one in here and it would work on all of them, but there's a square outer die for each single one. These are separate things. The inner part is separate from the outer. So that's cool. I'm gonna put these things back. Oh, I kind of wanted to put the paper back in the bag, but I'm going to make sure it doesn't stick. So quite a few things there. And then I think at the bottom is mostly papers, right? So let's, I'll bring this into the camera view. Very bottom, and you kind of want it to support it. You don't want this to just fall because it's gonna end up ripping off, I'm sure. It has, it's glued really well, but I'm sure you can glue it back. But uh, let's not have to do that to begin with. So this is envelope lining. So there's very thin paper. I can feel it already. There's a lot of colors in here and it's very, very thin. If you can see, look how I can manipulate that whole thing. So very thin in the same colors, purples and teals and orange and peachy colors. The colored card is also thin, but not as thin. And again, it's just the same colors. And they're double-sided, which is nice. It's a lot of paper. And then she's like, oh, there's so many papers. Well, it's, you know, I mean, obviously it's probably the least expensive thing they have to manufacture for this, but um, but it's nice to have a lot. And uh, these are pearlescent envelopes. I don't know if you can see the pearlescents. You see that, Sheen? Ooh, that's pretty. And lots of different sizes. Even a square card looks like a six inch square. These are card blanks, so you don't have to. And I told you already, you guys know, I love their card blanks. And I don't know, I don't know if they sell just white paper of this thickness, but this is at least 300 GSM. It has to be. It's super, super thick. And I've shown you in other videos. And if you have the subscription box, you know that. Or if you ordered, I guess, envelopes from me, you would know that. Super thick. And then the last thing, which I don't know, I feel like this bottom part of the box is kind of uneventful, is um, die cut sentiments, it says. And they're kind of like a creamy white color. And you just pop them out, I guess. And there must be a few pages of their, of them in there. So good luck just because, I mean, you can see kind of what's on there. 
I've never used things like this, which maybe this will get me to using them again. I don't know. I'll probably keep it, but again, because I have that mini. But if I don't really like the mini, then I'm going to have to return the whole thing, and then we'll see what happens. But there is an auto ship. I love the auto ship. I think it's cute. I like I like getting my subscription box every month, even though they've been selling them on their Crafters Companion site for, like, way cheaper. But they don't have all the boxes there, and then, you know, you have to wait, like, a year to get them, right, for them to be on their uh, thing. So let's close this back up. I guess you have to go from bottom in, top. And then we put our lid. It's really, really sturdy. I mean, this is not cheap feeling. It feels really nice. If this was a gift for somebody, I think that'd be an amazing gift. I'd be like, ah, over the moon if I got this. But, you know, I paid for it. So that's why I have to be a little more, uh, con uh, what's the word? I don't know. What's the word? I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at or looking for. It's okay. So we have the ultimate car making compendium. Suppose the person that's on here showing you how to use like your color wheel and what to do with your papers and other things is Craig. And Craig is really sweet. I love Craig. Um, he's so funny. He always says, and you could be doing this and you could be doing that. And I just think it's so cute to hear him in his accent. And so you could be doing, he says that all the time. So I just thought it was kind of funny. I'm like, Hey, isn't that how we kind of talk? Like just to be kind of informal out here. And he just speaks that way. That's just how they talk. You can be doing that. Anyway, Gemini mini. And then, like I said, they're so mean to Craig. It's just because they tease him. You know, he's like the only, well, not the only guy, but one of the only guys there. And uh, he's just funny. Gemini Mini. Manual die cutting machine. Very cute packaging. It looks just like their other packaging for all of their machines. Super adorable. We got um, a purple plastic shim, which is like real plastic. It's not just like a little wobbly thing. And then we have the plastic folder. So I do like the folder delivery method, like on the diamond press. Uh, of course, the Diamond Press is about two inches opening, and then I told you guys Diamond Press is also coming out with a new mini um, or a little machine. Oh gosh, I guess kind of soon. They had sent an email to watch a video and give them some feedback, which is so funny because it said if you gave them feedback, you'd be entered into a giveaway or a sweeps not a sweepstakes, but like yeah, a giveaway basically. And they said they were gonna draw the names on the fifth, which is funny because I just had a giveaway. I drew my names on the fifth. October 5th and I got an email from them October 2nd says congratulations you won $20 but I think they just wanted to give me the I don't know I just thought that was kind of weird I'm like hey the thing hasn't even ended <laughs> and supposedly I won um so I got $20 on their website on the diamond press website which is really nice they don't have that many things on the website so it's kind of interesting it kind of ebbs and flows like they'll have all kinds of things then all of a sudden they'll have like like right now if you go there they have like five things it's mydiamondpress.com but they are having a little machine come out and it is a four or four and a half inch opening. Um, a gal here told me, she said, I think it's a four inch opening. So I watched the video because I hadn't watched it yet. And I think she's right. It was either four or four and a half. I don't remember right now. And this opening is like a three inch opening. So again, it's going to be in between like a cuddle bug size and this little guy, right? So the other one's going to be in the middle there, which I think is good. A four inch opening, that's really good for like card fronts and stuff, right? If you have a die that big. So this is very light. I can feel it already when I'm pulling it out of here, like it feels super light. Like it, it has weight to it, but I'm just saying it feels like, I like it, I like it. It has its little suction cups. Obviously, like I said, I'm gonna really review it tomorrow. It has a little handle. And then it's just a folder delivery system where you put your die and your paper and whoop, roll it through. So thanks for watching guys. I will have the video for you guys. As soon as I can tomorrow. I've been waiting. Oh, I have a 30 pound box waiting from the HSN Craft Day that also arrived today. And I'm like, oh, I want to make the video on that, but I, I want to get this going. So I will do this one. And then I'll probably release the haul video the next day, which is such a bummer because I like to always show you guys what I get right away. But, um, but thanks for watching. I hope this um, helped you see kind of what was in it. Um, if you're still waiting for yours patiently, uh, you know, enjoy it. I think it's fun unboxing it. All right, I'm not gonna you know, lie, that was, that was fun. But um, I will see you guys at the next one. I will have the video for you tomorrow. Bye now.